Hey everyone, welcome to the Worship Artistry Podcast. My name is Jason Hausma, and with me is Nick Rice. Hello, Nick Rice. How are you, Jason? I'm good. I'm good. It's great to see you, man. It is. It's good. To, it's always good to see you. Always. It's been a day since I've seen you. So. I know. I know. Well, and it's funny. There was a week where you worked mostly by yourself, and yeah. I was just like, I feel so lonesome. Yeah. We. We. It was. It was a good. Like. Yeah. I, we reunited, and it, it uh, as the song, it felt so good. Yeah, it did. It really did. It, it did. really did. Yeah. We're doing this. This one's kind of a different one. Uh, we don't actually have an interview. We So Nick and I have been working at the studio alone. Just the two of us have been here a lot lately. That You might have noticed that there's a lot of more content coming out. And the thing about that is when we're here... We're having some really interesting conversations. We're just talking. Mm -hmm. And this was one that we kept talking about. It kept coming up. And I was like, dude, we should just have this conversation in front of people because I feel like it's actually something that kind of needs to be talked about. And uh, it's about it's about being simple. You came to me uh, just the other day and you were like, have you ever heard like somebody just say, play simple? Right. Like, yeah, yeah. I hear it all the time. But like, what does it mean though? Because like, my simple may be a little different than your simple. Sure. So how do we define it? And then what does it actually mean? Are they saying like, hey, actually you're playing too much? Or are they trying to say, I actually want you to play better? <laughs> like, <laughs> right. like what, what are we trying to, what right. are we getting at here? Well, why? Why do we need to be simple? Right. Like, do we need to be simple? Yeah. What are some of your thoughts on it? So my thought is, it's. I feel like the idea of simplicity in worship like came about in the 90s that's when i first started hearing it okay all right and i felt like it was a response to well, I, I needed to hear it because i i felt really cool just like shredding my way through every song and thinking like this is awesome a pearl jam <laughs> I, I, I remember one time we were playing my church was like very like free spirited there's okay. a lot of you know there's some practice but it, it was very much like improvisation mm -hmm. and and it was great i loved it it was a great place to learn because you you're, you're trying all these different things. Sure. Um, and in that, you also make a lot of mistakes. Our sound guy would always be like, <laughs> I recorded it. You guys check it out. It's awesome. And you're just, you're listening to it and you're like, that's terrible. That wasn't as cool I'm, as you thought it was. I'm not a very good guitar Brad. player, apparently. Right. <laughs> but, I, but I was on, I remember I was on, on the platform and I, and I had my amp there. I had a little PV Rage. It sounded, Ooh. it sounded so mm. bad, but I had it there and we had run out of things and I was just shredding the whole time and I thought I was killing it. And our bass player, who is also probably the busiest bass player I've ever been around, Rich Cardo. God bless him, he's amazing. <laughs> but also he's, I remember he, you know, I get down and I was just like, yeah, that was, that was cool. And he's like, yeah, maybe play a little less, hmm. you know, a little back off on it. And I think that that was kind of a very pervasive thing in churches, right? You had like the, the stereotypical electric guitarist at church was just shredding through yeah. everything, right? Mm -hmm. And so the, the comment became, hey, you know what? you're playing a lot. Let's just, let's just simplify. Mm. Let's just make it simple. And so that was kind of code for don't play so much. Yeah. Yeah. Find your place in the band mm -hmm. and like really, really fit, which is what I think what is what we really mean. Mm -hmm. Because I've also been in other bands that were not simple at all. Like right. Gospel bands and stuff, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, that's something right. If you, but if you, but if you play well yep. and you play tightly as a band, that sounds way amazing. Mm -hmm. Nobody's like mm -hmm. getting distracted by the fact no. that you're really good at music. No, no, right? no. Yeah. And so I feel like simple kind of became code word for uh, you're not playing that good. And we got lazy and we were just like, okay, that's fine. Rather than actually coaching our teams to, yeah. to play together. That's, that's my theory. Hmm. What, do you, what do you think? In my opinion, it's like the simple has become a nice way to say you're not that good. Mm -hmm play less say less and uh you <laughs> so the know, kids understand yeah, the kids understand um <clears throat> yeah it just it, it doesn't feel good to me versus like saying you know hey you <laughs> like you you're up there ripping on your rage <laughs> and you're like man i'm killing this and you were you were killing the song like <laughs> 100 you, you murdered it fortunately like, <laughs> i wasn't in the mix at all anyway so it didn't matter everyone's always like we can never hear you well man you you were you were going to town <laughs> um but yeah it's like just just play simple okay well yeah i thought i was uh, what do you mean? But nobody asks questions. I've, you know, a lot of people in my life, at least, they, we, we just assume 
because we don't want to feel stupid Mm -hmm. because like, Hey, Hey, play simple. Okay. Well, internally I'm like, man, I, I thought I was playing simple. I thought what I was doing was really good. Okay. So I'll just do plink plink instead of plink 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 you know yeah, like yeah. whatever so i'll just do way less be less creative um and sometimes this happened maybe to, uh well it has happened maybe once twice i don't know mm-hmm. i did something and then they're like hey just just play simple i tried something it didn't work out in their head so it's bad mm-hmm. now right versus like hey i want to help you like this, why did you do that? Right. <laughs> not, not in a, like a, don't get defensive, but like, why'd you do that? You know, just, Hey, just want to understand why did you choose that note? Or why did you want to do like this sweet picking thing for, <laughs> you know, firm foundation? Right. I don't know. Um, we maybe should walk through this together versus just saying, Hey, just play simple. All right. Moving on to the next one. Y'all feel good. <laughs> well, that person does it now. <laughs> well, and it, and the problem it, with it is that it actually directs our attention and it kind of creates this like pervasive idea that the music we play should be simple. Yeah. Right. That it's that I, and I've, I've heard that forever. Like, hey, we're just we're not trying to put on a show. Mm-hmm. You know, we are trying to play just really simply and, and serve the song. That's another one that I'm always That's like, OK, well, let's talk about what that really means. Yeah. Um, but it's this constant, uh, it becomes this idea that continues through. And we start to think about that. And the, even though the idea was initially, well, let's don't, don't play so much. Yeah. It becomes, Hey everybody, we just need to make simple music Mm. and that that's what this is. Mm -hmm. Right. And so what has that created? Sure. Right. If you look at your typical worship team, right? Like, well, (laughs) You have your average guitar player. Okay, instead of instead of shredding his way through the song, which I'm also like, yeah, don't do that. It doesn't fit. Yep. Now it's just like, well, I have to have 30 effects. Yeah, yeah. You know, what if I what if I said to you, hey, you know, if you could just simplify your tone, mm. can you just do a more simple tone? I'd probably go to a different church. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be true. You know, you know, like, hey, I just need that to be more simple. Uh, you know, um yeah. and so what that does though is it 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 misdirects us. It, we, it has this idea and this belief that falls into what we do. Yeah. And then when we start using that word all the time, it's actually really discouraging. Mm-hmm. And you're not actually getting to a place where you're playing like a band. You're just kind of making the music dumber. Yeah. And I don't, I don't mean to be rude about that, but I just think if I tell you, if you're a skilled musician, right? If, I, if you come to my, to my worship team and instead of me looking at you and going, all right, Nick is here. Um, hey, we just need to, you to play this this lead line right here. And you're like, cool, I can do that. And you play it. And then maybe you add a little something or maybe even something that doesn't fit because we're just trying things, right? Sure. Like creativity, sometimes you got to like take some shots and go like, that didn't work, that yeah. didn't work. And then uh, until you land on something, mm-hmm. right? I always tell my wife, like, don't listen to what I say until like the very end. Because that's my, I've been verbally processing. Yep, yep. I've learned to do that better now. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go walk away for a while and then I'll come back because I know what I think. Um, but I think musically it can kind of be that way. It's like, well, let's try this. Let's try this. And if right away somebody's like, don't do that. Yeah. yeah it is. Well, that's pretty soul crushing. It feels bad. Right. Yeah. And also I think it's actually discouraging to like good and talented musicians. Like if you, if I came to, if you came to a church, I was like, Hey, we just do simple stuff here. Mm-hmm. Do you want to play there? Well, I think personally, so sure, if this is a real question, I think, right? Not just hypothetical. Right. Or would you rather me just be like, yes, Jason? No, no. I want, I, I want, I, it's better actually if you disagree with me. It makes for better podcasting, I've heard. Because what I think if, if, okay, so let's say the worship leader or the music director or whatever you want to call the person who's leading um, said before I got to rehearsal or before I just spent a ton of time on anything. Mm-hmm. And it was like, we do simple things here. Uh, you don't need to learn a whole bunch. You know, it's just, you don't need to have a whole bunch of reverb or whatever. If they had clear direction, sure. I would be totally fine mm-hmm. with that. The problem for me is when I've put my heart and soul into re- rehearsing and practicing and like really dialing in the sound for that song. Um, and then they're like, well, no, don't do that. <laughs> oh, we just play simple here. I guess if I'm a new person on a team or if I was like a paid musician, I would hope that they would just tell me ahead because then I know how to better suit, you know, and serve that song for mm-hmm. that church. Sure, sure. I guess. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, that's, that totally I guess sense. that's how I think about that. I don't know. That's that's a struggle, though. It's like, man, I'm doing this for God. 
Mm -hmm. I'm worshiping, you know, uh, talking with you about worship has been really good. You know, as you said, we just kind of stand around and talk sometimes (laughs) in this room. We could probably have like twice as many videos. Yeah, for for real. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But like we were talking about what worship is and, you know, what you said to me and hopefully I can share (laughs) this is uh, you said worship is everything. And I was like, hmm, so it's not just music. And you're like, no, no, it's, it's, I think it's, it's everything. It's in everything we do, you know, it's an act of whatever, you know, it's to God. And so that's what I think about as well is like, this is everything we're doing is for God. And I'm doing this song for God. And, Mm -hmm. and then this person is saying like, no. So I was hearing God say, go (laughs) (laughs) send it. (laughs) But this person's like, no, 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 no. We, we need to rein that in. I, so I, I struggle, I guess. I want to listen to the leader, but like I still also have this like I guess conviction of, man, I'm I'm ready to worship and like I'm feeling more passionate about this this moment. So how would you, as a worship leader, mm-hmm. be able to tell me, like, hey, slow down, don't do that, mm-hmm. um, be better, uh, or or but but not be, be eh, just play simple, Nick. Right, right. How would you How would you help me? Well, I I feel like. My job as a worship pastor, like the main thing is, is my team. Sure. Right? It's a, yes, I'm pastoring the congregation and I'm leading us into worship. But the truth is I really, all my time and energy goes into these people that I'm, that I'm, that I'm trying to pastor. Right. right. Yeah. And I think part of that is coaching. And I think coaching is about helping people get there. Right. It's not just about saying, don't do this. Mm. It's about saying, do this instead. Mm or try this, right? So um, so typically the way that I'll say that, as you know, I'll, because my team is very, we at Worship Artistry, we do all these tutorials and I spend all week working on these songs to make them, like to arrange them mm-hmm. and teach them so anybody can play them like the record. And you do a great job. Thank you. Yeah, man. Sweet. <laughs> Shucks. But, uh, but here's the thing, by the time I'm done doing that, all I want to do, I've now mastered that song. I'm really good at that song. Right, yeah, sure. All I want to do is mess with it now. Mm-hmm. Well, what would it be like if I made it more acoustic? Mm-hmm. Uh, what would it be like if I gave this more of this kind of groove? And so I like to play around with things a lot afterwards, right? Yeah. So what that means is in my rehearsals, my team is like, well, we have this chord chart, but we're probably not going to follow that a whole lot. So just, you know, just make your notes on what we're doing. Cause that's fun to me mm-hmm. and that's fun to them. Mm. And so, but Jason, you're, you, you didn't write, you're not the professional <laughs> who played that song and wrote that song. So how dare you? First of all, I am a professional. That's hey. another thing I hate when people say though. You're more than a conqueror. The, the, the idea we could, we could do a whole thing just right. on the idea that like the person who, well, the one who wrote the song and the one who played that guitar line, uh, they came up with the best one. Nobody in the world could come up with something different. Ever. Right. That's why, you know, you can, that's a whole nother thing. I do think words matter though. They so do. to get back to your question, though, Sorry. What, <laughs> what I would say is, you know, I'd say, Hey, so let's say you just started like straight. Like I, yeah. I love how you always say this in your videos when you're doing like your, your, uh, just play alongs and stuff. Mm-hmm. You're like, and then here's the part where I just ruin it and go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, let's say you were doing that. Sure. Sure. Right. Yeah. So I'd probably be like, Hey man, I really like how you doing this? Like, let's save that for later because we're not dynamically big enough for that mm. yet. Okay. So maybe like, maybe give a little more chords or like we could really use something in this range mm. because right now that feels pretty empty. Sure. Right. But it's, but it's still to try and get you to think it's not just like, don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hate that. Yeah. That's... I hate, I hate when people say no and don't give another option. And so I like to give lots of options. And what usually happens is like, I also give people space to find it. So Mm -hmm. I'd be like, as you were playing with it, I'd be like, I'd wait, like I'd be listening. Yeah. So that would mean I was playing poorly while it was happening because I'd be like just listening for you. (laughs) But then I was saying like, dude, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Do that. Can you do that more? Like give me more of that. Mm -hmm. So that we're just like trying to find something that fits, right? Sure, yeah. And I think the more comfortable you are with your band, the easier it is for people to find things because you're just, oh, I trust you to come up with something cool. And I'm communicating kind of what I think this song needs as the leader, because mm-hmm. I do think bands need leaders. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely. But it just kind of gets us up all on the same page. So what happens uh, if you don't ever find it? You know, it's like, hey, we're, we're kind of jamming along and they're, you're letting them find it. Like, what if, man, they're, they're just not there. Like, they shouldn't be doing what they're trying. Sure, sure. Maybe try to try something a little bit, 
a little more and like a little easier for you. Yeah. Cause it seems like you're really trying to like reach in these things and, and, and I'll, a lot of times, here's the thing. I've always got plenty of ideas. Sure. So I'm totally fine going, also going, Hey, what if you played this? Mm-hmm. Can you do something like that? You know, then it's, and I'm thinking about your ability level and your ability level is really high. Mm-hmm. Let's take this and put this to somebody else who's like really struggling. Right. Sure, yeah. Then it's like, Hey, instead of doing this thing that I asked you to do, or that's on the record, mm-hmm. instead just go ging, 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 ging. Mm-hmm. Cause it'll create that movement. It'll do the same thing. It'll have the same effect without stepping outside of your mm-hmm. ability range, you know, or sometimes it's like a stylistic thing, right? Sure. I mean, how many people have I had? get on the, like say oh man you know i used to play metal but now i'm having to learn how to play worship right and i'm always like well worship music <laughs> you're, you're learning to play a different style of music that's okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but you know like like have you ever had somebody on your on one of your teams that was like not stylistically a fit mm. and then how did that work out yeah actually um the guy was uh an amazing musician i absolutely loved playing with him uh, but goodness, like I played in a, a gospel band years ago and we did all these festivals and traveled a bit and it was, it was a lot of fun. And so I was really used to playing with some amazing musicians and just doing all these crazy beats and just like throwing in these 64th notes and just whatever, all, great, like, t- 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 just <laughs> all this stuff and just like, whoa. And like, I remember when playing in those festivals, I'd just be stopped. I'd stop playing guitar and be like, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> like, um, but uh, so I, you know, not in the gospel band and playing just a regular, you know, white American church, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> like just a nobody really knows how to play music. It seems it, not trying to be mean. Promise. It's just we all know how to play. You know, this is Amazing Grace uh, and every other similar song that mm-hmm. that worship music has uh, and this drummer amazing drummer but he was just throwing in all these random beats and i was like i know what he's doing and i like that but nobody else does and so everybody else was just really doing pretty bad and a lot of people were like man i don't i don't really <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to listen to worship today uh because it doesn't sound good mm-hmm. because of the drummer or because of the rest of the team I think it was both. Uh, I'm trying to be nice with my words. Bless, bless here. your heart. Bless their heart. Yeah, then. bless their heart. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be nice with, and this maybe is why I sound cryptic, but like uh, it, it was the drummer throwing everybody off, mm-hmm. and that that's what it was. And so, but but nobody for the last several years it, it sounded like mm-hmm. you know sorry if whoever's watching is like no I've worked with him <laughs> or whatever <laughs> I don't know but like. Uh, all I had ever heard was we don't like it when X plays uh, because the band sounds bad um, oh okay well shoot man that that feels really bad so what have we done well we, we've we've taken them down to one day a, a month you know mm-hmm. and like taking th- we're taking this away from them cool and I was like so does this person want to serve and like, yeah so we're taking joy from them because they're not playing as a band. Mm -hmm. So what have we done? Oh, well we just, you know, we got to simplify things and that's what I heard. And so I was like, all right, so what needs to happen is somebody, I don't know who it turned out was me, um, needs to offer more. What does that more look like? I don't, I don't know. But at the time it was sacrifice on my end. It was just, I wasn't getting paid extra. I was just like, Hey, I got to do this wife. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, it really worked, you know, you, you be intentional with somebody and be like, Hey, I was, I was trying, I I probably used words like, Hey, we got to simplify things. And just cause like, that's how I kind of been indoctrinated into it. But you know, I also said was we got to play as a band. And if we can't play as a band, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. Uh, it just sounds like mud. It sounds like mush. It sounds like we haven't practiced. It sounds like we don't know what we're doing. So we can't just throw in these random things because it really makes a lot of people think you haven't practiced or you don't know what you're doing when in fact you do, you're very good. Uh, but the rest of the band can't keep up because they weren't ready for it. Mm -hmm. They're like, man, that, that little thing you did was neat, but like, it wasn't there the last time we went through this. (laughs) Right. And like, I don't know if you've ever gone, you've, you've practiced to a click, mm-hmm. a quarter note, and then you get there and it's eight, it's it's a, it's an eighth note now. <laughs> and you're like, 
oh my goodness, like I gotta get used to this right. or, or whatever. It's just different, mm-hmm. you know? So you've practiced this way. Something has been added you weren't used to. Mm-hmm. And that's what was happening. And it's just, you take this moment to like find out what was going on, you know? And here, here's what was going on. The, the person was struggling with work. Their parents were very, very sick. Um, they didn't have a, 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 a drum set to practice with at home. And so what needed to happen was just, hey, I'll open up our practice space several hours earlier Mm -hmm. for you to come in to practice before rehearsal if if that time works for you or whatever time works for them. Mm -hmm. And that was all that it took was just like getting this person to be in front of a drum set because their drum set couldn't be accessed because of all of the other issues in their life. But like only what people cared about was, hey, this person is is not good. Mm -hmm. Uh, They're throwing the rest of the band off and I don't wanna listen to worship. That's so selfish, like Mm -hmm. versus finding out what the problem actually is. It's not that they're bad at drums. The the person was amazing at drums, Mm -hmm. so good. They just didn't have a chance to practice. They didn't have a chance to rehearse. They didn't have a chance to whatever. And all of the other issues in their life, that's important. Right. That's more important. Right than them practicing. And so, you know, just taking a moment to, hey, let's do this together. And I really think, like you've said, that a lot of what worship pastoring is, is, and I wasn't a worship pastor, I was just, I was the production director. (laughs) But I was like, hey, I, I know how to do this. I know how to sound good as a band. And I've been in many bands and I've done many of this. And as the production director, I know what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, And yeah, it was just, we need to take this time to coach people, mm-hmm. to try to help them. And it was it was a little difficult because I didn't want to be mean. Mm-hmm. Everything in me just was like, hey, here's a solution, fix it. Like, just stop doing those extra notes. Right. You don't need to add those beats in there. Just don't do it. Play simple, one, two, three, four. One, not one, two, 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 two you know, like all, <laughs> all stuff. We're not like, good enough to play with you, okay? Basically, <laughs> that's what I was getting at because like it's really fun to play in a band who can play along with that like just the drummer's gonna throw in random stuff Mm -hmm. and it's like the band's like ooh okay and then the next time around like the bass player's like touch the mic you know whatever and then the guitar's like okay whatever some funk chords whatever it's so fun to be able to like communicate without talking Mm -hmm. but like if your band can't do that and you're trying to do all this extra stuff Man, it's like it's like talking foreign language. Mm-hmm. It's like going to to Mexico and never learning that they speak Spanish down there, <laughs> and you only speak English. And you're like, "What's up?" And they're like, <laughs> "Hola." And, and then you, <laughs> "Hello." <laughs> like that's gonna work, you know? It's, Every you, time you look stupid, Just louder. <laughs> Just say it louder. <laughs> exactly. So it's a similar kind of thing, I guess, with with a band and like this this long story I had uh, have. It's just you can't look at somebody and say just play simple. And if well, I mean you can obviously, Mm -hmm. (laughs) and but here's the deal. Like I I do think that it it is an innocent thing to say at first. Like hey, play simple. Just play it a little simpler because sometimes in the moment that's all you have time to say because Mm -hmm. uh, that one person can't take up two hours of the rehearsal time. Right. There's a, the rest of the band, you know, they have time, they have commitments like a family. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you know, I don't hey, want them we're to talking, be- We're talking about important things here, ex- Nick, like worship right. practice. Exactly. Worship music practice. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I want I want to be, value, I want to value every everybody's time. But here's the deal. I think this is where co- the coaching, you know, the, the instinct should take over is like, if you've already said, play simple maybe one or two times <clears throat> and they just don't do it or they don't get it and then it's like hey what what's the issue here why do you keep doing this or i've noticed you you do this um but like the rest of the band can't keep up with mm-hmm. that and so can we try to dial it back yeah. but try to find like a a good ground that feels good for your creativity um, for for how you believe God wants you to use your gifts, right? And the art, artisticness of it. Because mm-hmm. uh, that is one thing we've talked about is just showing up and then just being like, nope, don't do that. Well, shoot, man, why do 
why did you say you guys need a guitar player? Right. right. <laughs> like, we need a band. And well, if you want me to play the click, that's great. If you want me to play the tracks, that's fine too with me. I'm not up there to be a mannequin. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put some of what Nick Rice does into that song. The first uh, worship team I was ever a part of, that guy said that to me. I loved it. He's like, hey, we play Hillsong, we play Jesus Culture, we play uh, Big Daddy Weave or <laughs> Mac Powell or whatever, you know, <laughs> we play it all. And he's like, but notice those people aren't on our stage. Mm-hmm. It's us. You know, we're playing their song, but we're going to make it fit for how we mm-hmm. worship here in this community. And what that meant was just, you know, 90s blues rock <laughs> solos every single song didn't matter open let's, the eyes of my heart Lord. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> make it yours baby <laughs> exactly um it was fun you know and it was really cool to learn from and i also like the structure of just play the song mm-hmm. um because here's a, a point to like hey if you you know <laughs> we're joking about being professional and you can only write the best thing and whatever i i really do believe that the, the professional, the person mm-hmm. who is on the record, they did write something very good and they are insanely good at sure. what they do. Uh, now, to say that they wrote the best thing, that's a little ridiculous to me because somebody in the corners of nowhere we've never heard of is probably playing guitar with one string they found or it's a it's a horse's hair or something you know and it just sounds so cool and it's so creative and so amazing um that they can do it too Mm -hmm. you know to say that only that person that goes to bethel can or or you know whatever church or worship team right uh it's a little ridiculous however the person who just picked up a guitar today is not right is right. not better right and so they need to learn how to, to, to <laughs> i love it learn the rules so that way you can break them right uh but don't start breaking the rules if you don't even know them or just like hey man right we pave our own roads we make our own <laughs> rules you know um no like learn what they've done it helps you as a band it helps you as a, a creative to like man i probably wouldn't have thought to do that because i know me right dude right. when when i start to do a guitar solo or something i'm like all right here we come pentatonic like and i'm really trying to get out of that right. because i've noticed like whenever i do something i'm just doing the same thing in a different key right what that's not that cool i i love the idea of simple mm-hmm. i do because i it's it's innocent at, at its root right but totally. i think that it's just become a laziness like we don't coach that much anymore Mm -hmm. i feel and i don't know but i hope i hope i always stay teachable Mm -hmm. and i hope that it doesn't matter how old you are how young you are you can look at me and if you are the leader and you're gonna say hey we shouldn't do that maybe or whatever and i'm gonna listen to you yeah you know i I hope i'll always be that way what i hear you saying when some of the language i put to it a lot of times is like you have to be able to copy before you can create yeah. Yep. You know, it's, it's that, no, it's that knowledge of like, this is how it works. You yep. know, worship artistry, we create tutorials so that you can play what is on the record. Yeah. That's why we do that. But, and I always think to the next level automatically, because I'm always like, I can do that. Yeah, sure. And so I just want to go right to the artistry and just make it all my own. Yeah. And I have to remember, you know, the reason why I made it is so that, man, this piano line is killer. Yeah. Please do that. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing what happens. My team loves it when I give them that tool and mm. say, cause I, cause I don't say like, learn this song exactly like this, but I will say, Hey, we all use worship artistry. I got an in. Oh, really? And so uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> nice. it's free for us. It only cost me like 15 years of my life. What? Um, so, <laughs> it's a great so, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we get a good deal. Uh, but I just, it's, I love it because I'll just say, Hey, can you learn this part? Mm. Cause every, everything else is great, but I really want you to learn this part. This part is, is amazing. And they do, and then that's their favorite part of playing it because awesome. it just fits and it sounds great yep. and it's different. It fits our team, but it's just like, no, that that makes it come alive. Mm. And so I don't want to, I don't ever want to be unteachable either. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want to say that playing simple is is bad. Sure. I'm not saying that at all. Yeah. I think you need to start there because, but what will happen though is if we say, well, let's play more as a band. Yeah. Let's start simple. Mm-hmm. Then we can grow together Correct, yeah. and be creative. Yep. And then a year down the road, you're saying, hey, what do you want to put on this? Mm, yeah. Instead of, hey, here's this part. 
Yeah, yeah. Or they start going, hey, I got this idea. Mm -hmm. And then that goes somewhere, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I just... I just think our words matter. Definitely. And so I just want to be thoughtful about the words that we use because it does inform our beliefs. Yeah. And that's important. Mm -hmm. Once again, I think we, we say like, okay, so be simple. Mm -hmm. And there, hear me when I say this, there is nothing wrong with playing simply. I fully understand it, but I just think we have to be careful about what the implications yeah. of saying that are. Yeah, yeah. Because that there are implications to that. Yeah. And I don't necessarily believe that they are what we mean for them to be. Sure. So what could we say instead? Do better. <laughs> Make better choices. No. You not you you play bad. <laughs> you you bad play. Uh what would Yoda say? <laughs> oh, you anyway. <laughs> I was like I was like, ooh, I haven't heard this yet. <laughs> ooh, you not play good. <laughs> play good, not you. Oh. <laughs> um I, I think a lot of worship pastors, worship leaders, whatever you want to call them, um, uh, music ministers, if uh, if you really just look at your team and say, you're a lot better than you think you are, uh, and here's why, um, versus just like, hey, don't do this. It's, it's a strange thing to only ever hear don't or right. no, mm -hmm. even if it is an innocent thing. Because like my, t my wife taught me that when we first got married, she was like, you're always telling me what I'm not good at or like, Hey, don't do that again. And it's an innocent thing. Mm -hmm. And it's because like, it's out of a, 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 a protection, like, mm -hmm. Hey, I don't want you to do this so you don't get hurt or I don't want you to do that. So you don't like, she's so good at scratching the truck with her keys. And like, <laughs> she's a, amazing. You are better than you think you are at scratching <laughs> she, the truck. She's a pro. And, <laughs> <laughs> and she's always hitting like, I, I, I am so aware. I love my truck and like she'll hit it with like the, this, like, you know, like the little buttons on her coat or sure. whatever. And I'm like, why did you do that? She was like, I can't believe you heard it. And I was like, <laughs> I felt it, Bethany. And, and so like, I'm always just like, don't do that. And you know, and I, I, it's out of a protection, out of an innocent thing. And I never, ever thought about like, she's only ever hearing no. Right. That's it. She's yeah. only ever hearing negative versus like, hey, I'd love it if you didn't do that. Um, maybe, you know, shut the door with your left hand versus like everything's in her hand and she's like trying to kick it shut, you know, and like, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe put that stuff down or like, and then come back, shut the door. The man loves his truck. I do. I do. There's, it's my dad. It's a nice It's, it's truck. an emotional attachment. It's a nice truck. I think the idea of playing simple has been totally like shifted into something uh it's a lazy move i think and i think we really just need to be reminded and remember ourselves that we're not up there just to sing to just play to just perform mm -hmm. no dude we're, we're up there to be a community with the congregation with our band members um with our pa with everybody mm -hmm. we're, we're there to to do it together worship is everything and how many times though have i experienced somebody just frustrated and they get off the stage right before the sermon and they're like i'm never playing here again several times mm -hmm. and they're like i can't did you see the way they looked at me i'm like no <laughs> well, who the, well, the worship leader they clearly didn't like what i did well what did you do you know, did, were you supposed to play F sharp and you, you played F? You're supposed to play like, F sharp and then you played eruption instead? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what happened? Like what happened? You know, it's like it's it's a lot of it is too in our own minds. Mm -hmm. We just need to ask more questions. Yeah. Jesus did. Like, I mean, seriously, that's where I've learned a lot of that is just trying to mirror Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's in my. Maybe it's my opinion. I don't know, but I believe he was sent here to be a mentor of sorts, and mm -hmm. to we mirror his 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 likeliness and his like how he lived. Mm -hmm. I think there is something to playing simple, and I think there's something to uh, not only have that um, piece of advice mm -hmm. in your vocabulary. Yeah, I think it's excellent. Excellent. Well, here's the deal: if you actually want to learn to copy before you create. <laughs> Right. Uh, Worship Artistry has over 700 song tutorials that do just that. What? We take the take acoustic guitar, electric guitar, bass, keyboard, drums, three part harmony, and I'll make those parts sound like the complete song on the record. And then we teach that no so that a total beginner can learn it what? all the way through in advanced. And you know, 
in this scenario, one of the things that we get to be for, pe for people is the bad guy. Whoa. Hey, man, that was cool. You know what, though? I, yeah. We're all kind of expecting to hear this part. Can you just learn this on Worship Artistry? There Works great. And so uh, you can try that out for free. <laughs> just go to worshipartistry.com and you can check it all out. And you'll see me because I'm in over 700 song tutorials as well as our other teachers. Nick's not doing tutorials. No. I wouldn't do that to him. No. He's, he's too talented. You don't want me teaching you anything. He's too He's too talented. But anyway, we hope you visit us there and uh, subscribe, ring yes. the bell, do all the stuff that uh, makes it so you can get to hear, hear this more. And, but why do we ring the bell? Because you tell me I have to say it. I don't know. We, what we, happens when you ring the bell? I don't know, but you guys should let us know. <laughs> yeah, ring the bell, comment, and tell us what happens. Because <laughs> I'm not really too sure. <laughs> we'll see yeah. you next time. See ya.